Hi everyone, my name is Trina Bellamide. I'm a songwriter and record producer and I've been in the business for almost 30 years. And that is why I have much to say about the songwriting business and creating songs and all these related things. If you'd like to know more about me, you can visit my website and I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Now the past two weeks we have been talking about is it better to sign to a label or go independent? A couple of my friends have weighed in in the videos that I posted last week and the week before that and this time I'm going to tell you what I think. Now I have a very short answer and I have a long one and I'm going to start with a super short answer and explain what I mean as we go along. My very short answer is this. If you're an artist that wants fame and exposure and popularity and you don't care that much about creative control, sign to a label. On the other hand, if creative control is very important to you, you need to remain independent. Now there is nothing wrong with wanting fame and popularity. You just need to be honest with yourself and if that is what you want, then signing to a label might be the best thing for you. A record label naturally has the upper hand when it comes to promotions and marketing because that's all they do. That is their business, they better be good at it. When you are signed to a label, you get access to songwriters and record producers, video directors. These people are likely to be the best in the business. You get access to recording studios, to arrangers, musicians. You get access to other fellow artists, big artists, that might collaborate with you and that can be very exciting. It will expand your audience base and this is how your streaming numbers will go up. Record labels can also book tours for you. They can put you in TV shows and give you guest appearances here and there. They have access to mainstream media and you get a chance to build relationships with people who are at the top of their game. People who have been in the business for a long time. Not to mention the signing bonus that you could get. All these are advantages to being signed to a label. However, what artists should always remember is this. Record labels, at the end of the day, they are a business. All these things to promote you, they cost money. Record labels have employees who will do all these things for you and they need to be paid a salary. If they're gonna spend money promoting you, you better believe they're gonna want that money back and more. You know how they're gonna get that money back? You guessed it, from you. Record labels nowadays have what is called a 360 deal. Now I have heard many not so good stories about 360 deals because what it means is the record label is going to take a cut from all your income as an artist. They'll probably manage you or co-manage you which means that they'll take a cut even from your live performances aside from making money off of your recordings and masters and if you're a songwriter they'll also want to share out of your publishing rights. If you think it's favorable for you to sign 360 deal because you want a quick way to gain popularity and a label is willing to take a chance on you, here are some things you need to do. Number one, check on the reputation of that record label. See which artists they've already released, check out their success rate, and also if you have access to these artists, try to talk to them and find out if they're happy with their deals with them. If you're hearing a lot of negative stuff about that record label, you need to be very careful. Number two, never sign a contract on the spot. I have heard stories about artists who are so excited to sign or so afraid to lose a deal that they sign on the spot not knowing exactly what they are signing and they end up signing away rights that they didn't want to sign away. Take the contract home with you, show it to a lawyer or to someone who knows the business, somebody that you trust, and if they threaten you and say that, you know what, you gotta sign right now or the deal is off, walk away. Number three, try to do the numbers and make sure you are not gonna end up earning less than you are already earning as an independent artist. Number four, hold on to your rights. Negotiate to own your songs and masters. And number five, make sure there are no perpetuity clauses there. Make sure that the length of time of the contract is reasonable for you. Try not to get into long-term contracts because in case you're not happy with them, make sure there's a way out. Signing to a label means compromise in return for using their resources to get you where you want to go. But if you have your own resources, 
Maybe you don't need a label. Maybe your network is not as wide as that of the label, but if you have your own money that you can spend for your own marketing and promotion and merchandise, if you have friends who are videographers or video directors, if you have fellow artists that you can collaborate with, arrangers, musicians, people who can do you favors, people who enjoy working with you, if you have friends who are owners of bars or venues where you can perform, if you have friends in high places, people who can help you promote your music, influencers, if you are being managed by someone who actually has a lot of connections, well, guess what? You are actually doing what record labels do. Record labels actually put out their catalog pretty much the same way you do. It's usually even through the same aggregators. But the difference is you have direct access to the information about your income and the income actually goes directly to you, which is always a good thing because the more people you have in between you and the money source, the harder it gets because of transparency issues. You own your masters, you own your songs, you are getting a bigger percentage of the income of your own works. So, label versus indie. There are two analogies that I can think of. Signing to a label is kind of like getting married. It can be very exciting, but if you don't like each other, a divorce can be messy. Being independent is kind of like just dating forever and having all the freedom to date anyone you want and no strings attached. Another analogy is thinking of a label as like a bank that you take a loan out from. When you take out a loan, there's always pressure to pay it back. It's like loaning their resources so that you can propel your music forward. It's like them investing in you. And because it's their investment, they'll have to be the ones to benefit from that investment. As an independent artist, it is you who invests in yourself. You are the investor, and eventually, you are the one that benefits most from that investment. There's actually another option that's sort of in between signing to a label and being independent, and that is distribution. A distribution deal is where you release your masters through a record label, and they get a cut from it. What happens is they help you promote that album. Maybe they can even pass it off as their own release, and you get some of the benefits of being signed to a label, like you get access to some of their platforms to promote your music, but you are not going to be their priority because of course they are going to prioritize their own signed artists. Distributing your masters through a label can serve a purpose. If you're looking for some kind of like affiliation with a label in order to, for example, qualify for some industry award, this is where distribution can come in handy. I actually did this a few years ago when I wrote and produced an entire album for a new artist. We wanted to see if we would qualify for the industry award so that that would serve as promotions for the artist. And fortunately for us, it did work out. We got five nominations and we won three of them. But I'm not gonna lie, it was an investment. I spent a lot of money, did not make the money back, but I'm happy because I got what I wanted. So as an artist, you need to know all these options that are available to you. For me, I tend to favor the independent route because I like the freedom that comes with it. I like being able to make my own decisions and choose what kind of music I put out, when to put them out, who to work with, all these things. But it's different for every person. Now what about you? Are you an independent artist? Are you happy remaining an independent artist or do you want to get signed? I want to know what you're thinking. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do check out my other videos as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.